Inclination of a line. The inclination of a line is a positive angle measured anti-clockwise between a line and the horizontal axis. Angle theta is between the straight line y equals 2x minus 1 and the horizontal axis. Therefore, theta is the angle inclination of the line. To calculate the value of the angle theta, we use the trig ratio tan theta. By definition, tan theta equals y over x, and we calculate the gradient of a straight line graph as the change in y over the change in x. Therefore, to calculate the angle of inclination or slope of a line, we equate the tan of the angle to the gradient of the line. So, to work out the angle theta of the line y equals 2x minus 1 equals, we equate tan theta to the gradient of the line, which is 2. The tangent of theta is 2. We need to find the size of theta. Using your calculator, solve the trig equation to find theta. Enter second function tan and the ratio 2 on your calculator and press equals, and you will get theta equals 63,43 degrees, which is the angle of inclination of the line y equals 2x minus 1. Example 1. Calculating the angle of inclination. Calculate the angle the line passing through the point S minus 3, 3 and R2 minus 2 makes with the positive axis. Start by making a rough sketch and name the angle the line makes in the direction of the positive x axis, theta. To calculate the angle theta, we need the gradient of the line passing through the points S and R. Gradient of the line SR equals YS minus YR, all divided by XS minus XR. This equals 3 minus negative 2, all divided by negative 3 minus 2, which simplifies to negative 1. Therefore, tan theta equals the gradient M of SR equals negative 1. On your calculator, enter second function 10 and the ratio 1, excluding the negative sign. You get the answer of 45 degrees. This is not the inclination of the line, it is the reference angle. Since the tan ratio is negative, this tells us we're looking for an obtuse angle, which lies in the second quadrant where tan is negative. To find the angle, subtract 45 degrees from 180 degrees, and you get theta equals 135 degrees. Example 2. Calculate the gradient given the angle of inclination. Calculate the gradient of a line with inclination 68,7 degrees for part A and 90 degrees for part B. Let theta equal 68,7 degrees. We know that tan theta equals m, the gradient of the line. So, since we have the angle, we can work out the gradient of this line. Therefore, m equals tan 68,7 degrees. Enter that into your calculator, and you get 2,56. Round off to two decimal places. Therefore, the gradient of the line is... 2,56. For part B, we need to calculate the gradient of a line with an inclination of 90 degrees. Let theta equal 90 degrees. Therefore, m, the gradient, equals tan theta. This equals tan 90 degrees. Using your calculator, you will see the screen of a calculator will display error, which means the tangent of 90 degrees is undefined. This happens because we're dealing with a vertical line going through the x-axis, and the gradient of any vertical will always be undefined. Example 3. Calculate the angle formed between two lines. Given point A3, negative 4, 
B negative 2, 4C 5, 6 and D negative 5, negative 2. Calculate the angle alpha which is formed between the lines AB and CD. The sketch shows the lines AB and DC. The coordinates of the points A, B, C and D are shown. We need to calculate alpha, which is the angle formed between the two lines. We cannot get to that angle directly, so first we need to work out the angles of inclination of lines A, B and C, D, and then use geometry to work out alpha. The angle that line AB makes with the positive x-axis is beta. To calculate this angle, we would know that tan beta equals the gradient of AB. The gradient of AB equals YB minus YB, all divided by XB minus XA. Substituting the coordinates in, we get 4 minus negative 4, all divided by negative 2, minus 3. This equals negative 8 divided by 5. Therefore, tan beta equals the gradient of line AB. MAB equals negative 8 divided by 5. Find the reference angle using your calculator. Remember not to put the negative into the calculator. That just tells you that the angle beta is obtuse. Enter second function 10, 8 over 5, and you get a reference angle of 57,99. Since the gradient of line AB is negative, Therefore, beta equals 180 degrees minus 57,99 degrees, and this equals 122,01 degrees. Next, we need to calculate theta, the inclination of line CD. The gradient of line CD, MCD, equals YD minus YC, all divided by XD minus XC. This equals negative 2 minus 6, all divided by negative 5 minus 5. We get negative 8 divided by negative 10, and this equals 4 divided by 5. Therefore, tan theta equals the gradient of the line CD MCD, which equals to 4 divided by 5. Using your calculator by typing in second function tan 4 over 5, and pressing equals, you get theta equals 38,66 degrees. From the diagram, you can see that beta is the exterior angle of the triangle that contains alpha and theta. Therefore, we know that beta equals alpha plus theta, because the exterior angle of the triangle equals the sum of two opposite interior angles. So alpha equals beta minus theta. Substituting values for beta and theta, we get alpha equals 122 degrees, comma, 0, 01, minus 38, comma, 66 degrees, which is 83, comma, 35 degrees.